Is there anything stranger than quantum physics? Ask most physicists and they'll tell you no, there isn't. So let me explain by using the double slit experiment. This was done a long time ago and it demonstrated something very weird about quantum particles. What they did was they fired uh, electrons one at a time randomly through two slits. And we would expect them to hit this back wall in two nice vertical columns because basically they're passing through two vertical columns. But instead, we saw this interference pattern emerge where instead of hitting in two spots, the electrons were hitting the wall in all these locations, mostly concentrated in the center, but with different concentrations of impacts from the center. And that's very weird because that's the kind of behavior that waves exhibit. If I were to push a water wave through these slits, it would exit and interfere with itself and create this interference pattern on the back wall. And so what we've determined is that this electron passes through the left slit, it also passes through the right slit, at the same time it also passes through both slits simultaneously, and it passes through neither slit. So all four of those possibilities, left, right, neither, and both, exist simultaneously in superposition with each other. And we call that a wave function. It's a mathematical function of probabilities that uh, allow this electron to behave as a wave, and so it can pass through both slits, interfere with itself, and create this interference pattern on the back wall. That's pretty weird and kind of creepy, but it gets even stranger. So we decided to put some kind of measurement device. I'm gonna draw an eyeball to show that we're observing, uh, although it is not a person, it's a machine. And that machine is measuring which hole the electron actually went through. So rather than letting it just be random, we're verifying and actually seeing which hole it goes through. So once we put the machine there to observe, as these electrons are fired through, they didn't hit the back wall like this anymore. Instead, what we got were two nice, neat rows of impacts. So we had electrons hitting here and electrons hitting here just as we expected initially right so the act of observing the electron actually changed the outcome instead of behaving one way it's now behaving a different way not like a wave anymore but like a definite particle that is pretty wild and leads to some very metaphysical ideas such as can i observe uh, something in my reality and actually change the outcome how much does human perception alter reality but i would urge you to be careful with those ideas because again this is on a quantum scale and by observing, we're actually firing a photon at the particle, right? A photon is a particle of light. And when you hit something with a light particle, you're now collapsing the wave function and forcing that particle to be in one place, which is why it acts like a particle again. But by not observing it, by not hitting it with a photon of light, you're allowing it to act as a wave function, which enables it to interfere with itself.